Hello and welcome. I'm so excited to bring to you Alma Barrero. She is an intuitive style and empowerment coach and she has just released a fabulous book called Style Power. So I wanted to talk to you today, Alma, about all things style. Welcome. Hello. Thank you for having me here. I'm so excited. I know. Well, I, as soon as I got this book in my hot little hand, we've known each other for some time um, and we've worked together and I've known that you've always had this amazing innate ability to help people tap into their style and, and the power of their style to live a life where they can shine, be more connected and definitely put their best foot forward. But why don't you let us into what style power is and how you came to land on this approach. Tell us all the things. Of course. So thank you again for having me. Uh, I'm so happy. And yes, uh, when we were working together, you always know that I was like, I'm helping them with their style, but I know that this is deeper. And I was really struggling to get my message across. Mm -hmm. um, and it took me some time to do some soul searching to understand what was that deeper message that um, I really wanted to uh, come across as, uh, not just a style coach or a stylist, or, because that's not who I was. And, and the mainstream style advice did not resonate with me. It's not that it wasn't amazing. It's just that it wasn't uh, what I knew it was my thing. So not surprisingly, my message wasn't reaching <laughs> the people yeah. the way I wanted, because I didn't even know what was really what um, I was receiving. So um, it was in 2019 that I reached this point where I was like, that's it. I'm stopping everything. My body was giving me signs uh, to stop. And I said, I'm just going to listen. And I got into this um, habit of soul journaling. So I would just uh, meditate every day and I would just allow any thoughts without stopping writing to come out. Um, and then literally, I thought that I was going to go away from the style uh, business because I was like this is not feeling me fulfilling me at all and then little did I know that what came through was actually the message that I had been looking for so long and it was just a complete system um, to understand um, how to uh, connect with who you truly are and and how to express that on the outside with all the little steps that go in between whereas before I had them completely separate Mm, yeah so I, I, mean, I remember when we were talking it was like oh well, when we were working together you came to me and you're like I'm an image consultant but I kind of talk about style but then I don't I've got these uh, you know archetypes that, or you had the like the archetypes didn't you and we used to get you to share that with the mastermind as well which was great you had all that and that still lit you up but you're like I want to go deeper there's something more that I need to share and that was obviously connecting how people want to show up on the outside with who they are on the inside and feel that empowerment from that so what tell me like let's go back to the problem that most of your I guess ideal clients or women that you work with would face and that would be what are those kind of style barriers blocks or mistakes that women get caught up in when it comes to dressing and their style so the biggest thing that they come to me is like this this doesn't feel easy this doesn't feel natural and and they feel a total disconnection and that's why the whole, um, like the subtitle of the book is unlock uh, your connection between your soul and your wardrobe. Because um, before I used to talk a lot about effortless style, but people would be like, yeah, that's so easy for you to say. Mm -hmm. um, but it was, it is, it is, it, it is when I talk to them and I tell them it is really not about the clothes, but how you feel inside of them. Mm -hmm. It's that. That's all right. <laughs> it's so much. Um, uh, <laughs> I thought a little kid was like, one of your little boys was going to come in, and I was going to go. Yeah, oh, great! I want to see was, him. Rafa, I was like, Yay. it was so funny because I was here pretending that he was. <laughs> he wasn't. I was. Just, <laughs> I know I could see. I was like, 
I think there's going to be a kid, you know, in that video, the BBC kids where the guy's on TV and then the kid comes. I was like, oh my God, brilliant. This is going to be one of those. I would go, come on, get your bubbers up. I want to see them. I haven't seen them in so long. Anyway, go ahead. Sorry, love. <laughs> um, so here is for me where everything kind of off kind of opens up when um they are able to understand that all that pressure of having to look a certain way of having mm -hmm. to project something specific or what they are expected to look like um that completely evaporates because the whole point here is to create that connection with what you wear so you feel empowered by yourself you don't need clothes to 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 infuse you with anything you already have it you're just choosing clothes from that space so those clothes basically help you anchor in that um yeah sensation and that essence of who you truly know you are and then see that on the mirror so it it, it it's kind of um it's changing the whole paradigm that they have that this needs to be hard or or that um you need to have all these ideas on on what matches or or or, or how to combine pieces and all that craziness yeah. and and yeah. one of my ultimate goals with this book is to make it simple very simple because it really is not hard it's it's more an intuitive game and a fun game so um that was my whole idea here yeah and and so many women I find get caught up in oh but things don't look good on me or I don't like going shopping you mentioned in the book that you're a really fast shopper and that you just go and you you know people are constantly surprised because you are, you know, a, a style expert and coach and stuff. So you would expect that, oh, okay, you're going to be able to go in there and, and go through all things. But really, you can just go, go in there and make it fun and easy because you don't actually enjoy shopping. Is that right? No. No, I don't. Um, I find I actually get very drained uh, with all the lighting and all the people. I don't like it. So um, I developed this apparently very early on and I had no idea. Um, but now with with all these different, very simple tools, you're just able to start to to enter a, a store mm -hmm. and just spot if there are any pieces that are going to uh, call your bring attention uh, or call yeah. your attention. And if not, then just leave. But without feeling bad, without feeling like, oh, I can't find anything. That's not the point. The point is just make it work for you. So I do not like shopping sprees. No. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I know you do. Spree. I am, you know me, I'm just crazy for it. But it's, it's, there's so many women that aren't and also that feel like they're not really showing up as their themselves. So, so really here style is that conduit to who you are and feeling like you can show up stronger and more in yourself rather than it being that sort of, I find that some women kind of shy away from it, particularly showing up. So let's talk about this, like showing up online is obviously scary like doing what we're doing now getting on video or doing a Facebook live or doing a webinar or something like that or even having your branding photos taken for a website right like how many women do you know like I, I see these websites in the, the in the beginning of when people start with their first website I can't even find a picture of the coach on there like I'm like well, where, this is your website where are you right because there's such a, a, a sort of fear of, of showing up in that way so what's your advice for that like a, a woman saying okay I've got this magic and these gifts to share with the world I'm a life coach I'm there to help others it's not I don't really want it to be about me so what what are some of your what's some of your advice that you would share well, whenever I come way? across people who who, who come uh, to me with that um, I always come back with this question and and is that if you've ever thought about the fact that you look the way you look in this lifetime for a reason mm -hmm. um, and that this instead of being a, a fearful step could be as an a tribute to yourself and 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 looking into ways to dress yourself that you're actually honoring who you are and you are bringing out um, all the beautiful um, qualities that you have instead of just comparing yourself with mm -hmm. how you how people show up and how other people are are doing it um, this is not about that That's 
that's not what people are looking for. They're just looking for what you uniquely have to share with the world because there is nobody else who can share it the way you do. And we mm. know that. Uh, it's just a matter of really putting one step in front, putting one foot in front of the other and understand that this is really true. And it's about you trusting that your uniqueness, it's going to resonate and somebody out there is waiting for you to share your message and that you are here for that. Um, so it's, I do, it got to a point where I realized that I was being selfish, not allowing that message to come through. And mm -hmm. what, once I was able to shift my focus and understanding that I'm being selfish, taking away uh, from others to hear what I have to say, because mm -hmm. that's why we are here. We all have our own um, duty or our own task here. And, and that's why we came here. So that's what I believe. So mm -hmm. whenever that happens, I, I kind of shift the attention to what what you're here for like how who you can help and and the the best way you can do that is showing up as your best as you're showing up as a, a showing showing up from the unique place that you come from mm, yeah so reinforcing that with clothes um that's where that's the that's the place where you find that confidence when you are online. Sorry, because I, I just wanted to finish no, no, that. No, please, no, um, please don't. That's where you feel at home. That's the, like you can wear wherever you want, but you feel at home. That's you. Yes. So you're saying like there's no rules. There's no individual rules. You have to just be drawn to what you want to wear, and that will rather than they're them getting kind of blocked in oh well that's not going to suit me or I'm not going to look good in that or what about even colors I know that you are amazing with colors but how does color play into this do we need to use that as a guide or we can abandon all rules or tell me tell me more about that so um, the other thing about this book, it was about people understanding that there are no rules, yes. like we yes. make our yes. own rules. And, you know, I'm a big fan of color. Um, the reason why I'm a big fan is because of the energetic effect. Right. Yeah. So I, I, there are actually resources included with the book uh, oh, cool. to help you understand the energy um, around different palettes and how they can actually help you to feel more yourself uh, with your clothes. And there are certain colors that will help uh, the public actually look look to, to look to yourself on the uh, like to your face mm -hmm. and remember your face. Um, but I don't look at it so much from an appearance point of view because obviously that's very much perceivable. It's more into the energetic aspect uh, of it. Of yeah. it. So it might be just three colors that make you feel at home, but I do, and I share all these tools because I believe that they are all um, very useful and can help you create that uh, wardrobe that that where you see yourself. Uh, but I look more at it as the uplifting effect of color and how can, it can help you um, anchor into that energy that that you want to 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 live in every day. Yeah, so so you're saying the color that the color can almost activate that energy. It's not about what color is the right or the wrong color, but it's like it's by tapping into it and feeling like okay, I could be activated by that color. And so you give some pointers to that in your uh, into how to kind of tap into that in your in your book as well. I love that because yeah, it's it's one of those things that you kind of have an idea of colors or how's that going to work but I know that it has has a massive um impact energetically and I know you know I'm always wearing black and I need to wear my other colors there was that other one you commented on one of my Instagram ones the greeny because you were always sitting there going mm, I know your colors for me and I know <laughs> what you you know them and then you never tell me them and I'm like you you're like or I think you think I'll think no I don't like wearing that color which is what you talk about in the book too that we go no that's not that even happened to you when you found your colors right tell me about that like when you find your colors and you're like but I don't like wearing that color or that color's not for me why, why is that like tell me about that so that was 11 years ago and I was like oh yeah I'm gonna learn to this this color thing so I'm gonna look so much better and, da, da, da. and we did all my color uh thingy and I and and the, my palette um was 
completely the opposite of what I had on my closet. And I was like, I couldn't go farther from the reality. And I realized that I didn't like the colors, but it was because they were showing me. Um, So unconsciously, I had been creating a closet that, yeah, it looked very stylish, but it wasn't showing me. It was unconsciously hiding me. Um, So it was a big growth process um, to uh, flex that muscle and understanding that this is what suits me. It would suits me like clothes that I know for sure that I are highlighting me, not hiding me. So yeah. that was really, really, really big. <laughs> right. Okay. And that's that's still part of the style power message too, to how to be how to embrace that cut the colors that will work for you. Because do you find that though? Generally, most people who uncover what those colors are that they're not that they're like, well, they're not really my colors, or that that it, it just depends. So I've, I've noticed because obviously my work has evolved a lot. And now I work with a lot of people who are very sensitive to energy. And that's why I changed completely the focus because I realized that the ones who were feeling the energetic effects were the ones who were staying with their colors. Mm-hmm. Whereas the ones who just looked at it from the 3D point of view, which is how I started in this, mm. in this, in this uh, business 10 years ago, um they are like this is too hard like you can't be bothered it's this like whatever like this looks good on me um and I understand like you look fabulous in everything you put on uh but it's the energetic effect that creates that magnetism Mm -hmm. and that feeling yourself and also going back to using clothes as a as, as a as a tribute to to your natural um and and your and your innate gifts you know and that comes also with your complexion so Mm. yeah so it all ties it all ties in around that right I'm gonna have to go and go and have a look (laughs) no I love I love I'm so I'm so interested in yeah how how it can all come together and I do think the style is so such an important part of what we do and it's not to be stylish right like but it's it's about how you are feeling in showing up like I said particularly online it's already challenging enough putting yourself out there then you've got to think about how you look and you know I used to get caught up I've got to have a full face of makeup on and now I'm just like look if I do that all the time I'm never going to show up I'm just going to be hiding until I'm perfect but if you can just start you know making those moves and going okay well maybe I'm not so dressed up today or maybe but it's still showing up in a way that isn't you're not going to come across as slouchy or like you know it's it's been you right it's still sitting into that and having yeah. that confidence and um so so when we're um, and for those who don't know your story so you live in Australia you hail from Mallorca and I have actually been lucky enough to meet up with you in Mallorca when I was on holidays as well I got to see you there although unfortunately you were not very well <laughs> I remember that. That was not good. But you you took me out for tapas and we had oh, most delicious food. I love Spain. I love Mallorca. So you live in Sydney now with your husband and two small boys who are now four and seven. And when we worked together, you were pregnant. Like you weren't even pregnant with the second one. So we've known each other for a long time. And you've been on that journey of going, okay, I've got to find my message. It's in here. And I know we've had plenty of sessions on that too and how to articulate it like it's so frustrating right when you know like I'm here for something bigger even I can't quite articulate it so and people just want to kind of put you in a box because they're like well you're a stylist why don't you just do style stuff and you're just like it's just I don't want that traditional stuff so how did you work through so you were saying you basically could do more down you know more of the downloads and the soul journaling helped you kind of bring that out how did so, you know when you got there, when you felt like, okay, yeah, style power is what I'm here? Because it feels like you're very clear now and that you've got that direction. Right now, um, because this was also an spiritual experience, like it was next level. I was receiving messages, like I was just sitting on a meditation and I created a whole identity system um, out of the blue because I needed yeah. something create a bridge between the inner work and the outside work and this suddenly came to me so it was a very firm decision to choose myself and to surrender uh, and trust Um, those were 
the it was it was really like a marriage and i'm not even kidding and this book is the ultimate expression of surrender of saying whatever i'm done fighting it and i i, I remember i was telling you i was like I keep um bumping into a wall and i and and i remember you were like then do the the internal thing and i was like but i couldn't even see it because i could see style and it was like oh my god i need to get my together and yeah. and that's how it felt that's how it felt yeah. because everything just came through and i realized that every single lesson um that that i've learned in these 38 years uh were were there for a reason um because mm. i don't call it like errors or whatever they were all lessons and yeah. now at my th 38 years I was able to put everything together and understand that this was all meant to be now yes. right now not before yeah but even having that acceptance of knowing that you could let go of the style and I was like that's fine we can go to that confidence piece and you can show up with your beautiful Spanish like bourgeois de vie but it's like I could always see that it was like no just be be you but it's so funny how we do get caught up in we have to have a thing and it has to be very set and people you know it has to be marketable and people get and particularly because I coach people on their message market a lot as you know like it's kind of one of those things that I love diving into but sometimes it's about well how about if you did show up as, a, as you sharing those things that you care about, share, not just in a fluffy way, still showing up with value um, and drawing those people in who care about those same things, you will have the flow that you need. But it's when you're trying to get it perfect, I guess that's what it's like for an artist. If, they, if like Picasso sat in front of the canvas and was like, well, I need to have this perfect, he's not going to have, he would, well, he would not have that body of work, right? All 100%. Your work from your, from 100%. Yeah. And now, you know, when I talk about gifts, I see a gift now, the fact that whenever something doesn't feel right, my body shuts down. Mm -hmm. um, and now I'm, I, I've connected to my body in such a way that whenever something feels that it's just there to sell instead of to help, mm. then my body just shuts down. And I'm able to, I'm very sensitive to what feels aligned or what, or what doesn't. Mm. And I think that's the biggest thing that it's okay to say no to the to the external rules because yes. you can work with the best coaches you can work with the best team you can work with anybody but nobody can be inside of you mm -hmm. right nobody can know what what is meant to be channeled by you so um, yes. I think that was the biggest biggest thing for yeah. sure when I think it's easy to get caught up in I have to do it this way because that's how everyone else is doing it and it, it, there are proven rules like I do say yeah look, look you've got to find who you're there that there are some rules there that that are going to it's not like you have to follow them but where where people come I think at cross purposes is that they're like well I need to get clients I need to make money right so then they get impatient and they're trying to force it but they don't have to follow those rules if they can allow it to come you know it to bubble up and like give it a bit of space it's almost like that impatience or the need for validation or proof straight away squashes a lot of that anyway yeah and for sure the message right and and sometimes we just start doing that before we have even allowed ourselves to look our, at ourselves mm. um and, but then we look for external validation it, when we don't have our own i do believe that energetically it just like doesn't work and and I, absolutely and i believe the data is there for a reason we use it but also it has to go th like through you and you allow that because if it doesn't resonate you know, like it can yeah. be, you can do the, the, the most amazing launch. And if you just hate the whole mm. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's miserable and everyone numbers might that. come, but then like things just don't work. Your body might break, like something yeah. happens. So, so what, often what I happens? see that too, energetically, that women, they just push, push, push. And then it like goes, then it crashes. And I know for me, maybe six, seven years ago, I got to a point where I was like, I cannot work any harder than this. It's just, just too much. I'm just give, give, give. And it's like, ah, it's too much because you're trying to reach this thing that, you know, you're not quite ready for. You haven't gone on the right journey for. And 
everything just converges to make it pretty miserable until you, exactly. you hear that that lesson. But I, I think I think everybody who gets in the online yeah. world. I think it's a very natural thing to do because we are not, okay. we are not, and, and you're just following what, what is supposed to be successful or, yeah. or, or you don't even know, you need to taste the water. So I think it's just, yeah, that, oh. that you'll try something and think, and then you'll tweak and then you've got to move. And then, you know, it's very rare that people just jump in and it's like, oh my God, straight away. Like, I know that when people come to me, it's great. Like if we do the deeper work, if they've already had some pain clients, like then we can work out, okay, what things do you like? Where do you like to do? But a lot of the work I do do is with people who haven't yet, but we've got to have that space to be able to explore where, you know, where, where they want to, to be and who they want to show up as. And most people, what I find is most people always have it. Like, you, what you're doing now, that, that was what you were kind of already expressing when we worked together years ago, right? But you felt like that wasn't going to be enough. Yeah. Exactly. So exactly. Like, That's like, why I say. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, and all, everything we did, I mean, I'm so grateful because now like even my VA, she's like, how do you write these emails? Like, how can you come up? And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> You, I know the thing. You, you learn. You learn it. You learn that. You learn the, the basics and got it. Like and showing exactly. Yeah. And so many people told me, "Oh, but you were already kind of that." But I didn't feel it, and that's it. it. Yeah, yeah. It's, and you had to. I mean, it's so much stuff. Yeah. Yeah, be moving forward, and even like the showing up because it, it was funny. Because then it was like I was like, put more of those, you know, snaps on Insta of what you're wearing and show you who you are, and you were like. But I don't know, you were, you were hiding because you felt out of alignment, you didn't, but you weren't, you weren't out of alignment, you just were on the journey, right? You were on your own, a soul journey, but it's so funny how then we want to reject where we are, but I could see all this vibrancy and connection that was waiting to come out. And this is what I was, to my point before, that it's normally already in here. It's just a matter of connecting and believing and, and, and moving. Exactly, forward, exactly. Right? And, yeah. and, and what kept me through was like having you telling me, I'm a, I believe in you. And I was like, oh, I don't even know this. <laughs> totally. I know. And it's so, and I always say to people, I believe in you. I believe in you. I don't take on any clients that I don't believe in because how am I, then I'm going to be totally out of alignment and I'm basically creating a rod for my own back right so that and there is potential in everyone anyway I think if you're called in to share and be on like everybody's got the potential and I do believe in 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 everyone but there's there's sometimes it's it's trying to connect to go look I totally believe in you I can see this we might not know exactly how it looks like like you would inform me no I don't want to go here or you know I want to go here so we just have to kind of pave the way but I'm so glad and when um you sent this to me I was like and this is so you, your color, <laughs> the yellow, I love. And it was just like, I can see her. She's stepped into it now. All of it's kind of, all the pieces have come together. She's there. And and so tell us how can people, people can find the book at stylepowerbook.com. I'll put the link in this post um, as well. But how can people work with you or what, what do you, tell us what you, you know, how you can help and who you help now. Like what... Tell so us the more. book in on Style Power School. Uh, I mean, oh my Stop god! Book. Stylepowerbook.com. <laughs> on stylepowerbook.com, uh, there are the links uh, to the US and Australian um, uh, um, right. outlets, uh, but the, the, it's on Amazon everywhere in the world. So whatever you want, you can Amazon find it there. Forever. And it's, um, you can grab uh, pre-order bonuses until October 10th, and there there is a meditation and a and a free ticket to a live workshop that we're going to do um sharing all the stuff that didn't make it to the book but it will amplify the, oh, the result fantastic so that is until october 10th and okay. then i love that and then what else um i there are links there to work with me um, i'm currently accepting one-on-one -on -one clients um right. and in, um, um some power really in powerful intuitive um, coaching and helping others find their their essence and their uh, truth in in their wardrobe and helping them identify what might be holding them uh, back um, 
yes. from from showing up um, as they are meant to show up. Yeah, I love that. I love that. So stylepowerbook.com or they can also find you at almaguerrero.com, but they just come and find you because you are a beautiful, beautiful being. I'm so excited that, that I could share this, this with you. And I love seeing everybody who even I've worked with years ago, we come back and I'm like, what are you up to? What's happening? <laughs> I love it. It's, it. it's fantastic to see. And I think everyone should get out there, get a copy of Style Power. I know that it is a block for so many, but kind of get, letting all that come down and embracing it in the way, like you said, that it works for you. Um, you don't have to be some Glamazon. You don't have to buy designer brands. It's not about that at all. It's more about the connection and how, how you can be showing up and it helps you so much in your online visibility too when you step into that confidence and power. So thank you, my darling. It's been great to have you and um, I should talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Okay. Let me just...